Welcome back to Field Trip. I'm your host, Katie Smith, and today we're at the Chicago History Museum. Join us today as we explore a museum's amazing costume collection. Today we're here with Petra Slinkard, and up next we'll give you a behind the scenes preview of the museum's upcoming exhibition. So the costume collection is quite large um, and encompasses men's, women's, children, military uniforms, accessories, uh, sports uniforms. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a big, robust, all-encompassing collection. Um, and the number of objects ranges around um, like 50 to 60,000. Other two garments standing behind me um, kind of show you the breadth and depth of our collection. So this is a, a tuxedo worn by a woman um, that dates to about 1969 and she actually wore this um, to the 1974 Academy Awards. We have um, Hugh Hefner's uh, silk pajamas uh, behind us wow. and he basically uh, lived in pajamas most of the time. He was a night owl and he um, conducted most of his business from his mansion and so he never really felt that it was important to, yeah, to get dressed. Around. And he would have several identical examples made at one time and always of uh, red silk imported from France. So we are planning an exhibition that opens in October and it is on the Chicago-born designer uh, who as an individual was known as Maine Bakker. Yeah. Uh, he was born on the west side of Chicago, went to John Marshall High School and through a variety of steps and resourcefulness um, found his way to Paris in the 1920s where he got involved in the fashion industry and then eventually decided that he was just going to become a couturier and so he opens a house in um, 1930 and becomes the first American couturier to successfully operate a house out of Paris in that period and then eventually makes his way back to the United States and continues for about 30 more years working in the United States. In 1942, he was offered an opportunity to um, design uniforms for uh, the United States Navy. Uh, they were incorporating a, a women's unit. Some worked in the factories, some uh, worked in communication, um, some worked as nurses. Um, they you know, fulfilled a, a variety of different roles. The waves were recruited as a way to relieve men um, from their posts on the home front and be able to travel overseas to help. Um, he designed three main uniforms, um, were navy blue, uh, white uh, dress uniform, and then this version, which is the summer uniform, which was yeah. done in seersucker. And cool. you can see on the lapel the waves insignia, which includes a, a propeller and also uh, the anchor and there's also the Navy insignia um, on the buttons. What was significant about Mambouche's influence was really that you know, here he was this haute couturier who was really only designing for a handful of people who could afford his clothing, yeah. and then yet at the same time he was also designing uniforms that many women of a variety of different income levels could access once they became members of the Navy. Petra, thanks so much for speaking with us. And can you tell us when the exhibit opens? Um, yes, the uh, exhibition on Mambouche opens October 22nd. So Great. Come thanks. on down.